So far we have found the solutions of linear equations several different ways. We've solved by tracing a graph. Here we're going to solve for x when y is 3. So in the equation we will replace y with 3. We can use the graph to find out what x equals when y is 3. When y is 3, x equals 4. We've solved by looking at a table. We'll use this table to solve for x when y is equal to negative 7. Let's first look for a pattern in the y column. We notice that as the x's go up by 1, the y's go down by 4. When y is negative 7, x equals 6. And we've solved with an undo table. We'll start by pretending to plug in a number for x and imagine what we would do to that number. If we plugged in a number for x, the first thing we would do is add 3. Then we would multiply by 4. And finally we would divide by 12. To undo the divide by 12, we multiply by 12. To undo times 4, we divide by 4. To undo plus 3, we subtract 3. We're looking for a number x so that when we add 3, multiply by 4, and then divide by 12, we end up getting 3. So we want the result to be 3. To solve for x, we work our way up the undo table. 3 times 12 equals 36. Thirty-six divided by four equals nine. Nine minus three equals six. We can check that answer by plugging six back into the equation. We always use the order of operations, so we'll do what's inside parentheses first. 6 plus 3 equals 9. 4 times 9 equals 36. 36 divided by 12 does equal 3. In this lesson we review how to solve equations with scales using the balancing method. With a scale like this one, we need to keep it balanced. When we remove three weights from one side of the scale to see how much Mr. Pinky weighs, The scale becomes unbalanced, until we remove three weights from the other side also. So whatever we do on one side of the scale, we need to do on the other side also. Otherwise things get out of balance. By keeping the scale balanced, we figured out that Mr. Pinky must weigh the same as six boxes. This scale models the equation 2x plus negative 6 equals negative 10. We can solve the equation, that is, figure out what value of x makes the scale balance, by doing the same thing on both sides of the scale. We need to isolate the x tiles first. There are six negative tiles on the left. To remove these negative tiles, we'll place a positive tile on each one. This creates zero pairs and removes the tiles from the board. To keep the scale balanced, we have to do the same thing on the other side of the scale.
two x dials together have a value of negative 4. We need to find the value of 1x. This is a division problem because we need to divide the tiles into two equal groups. Now the tiles are divided into two groups of equal value. I only want to look at one group, so I'm going to get rid of the extra tiles. We see that the value of x is negative 2. In the previous example, we cancelled or removed each negative tile with a positive tile. When solving equations, we use this same idea. When we add any number to its opposite, we get zero. Here are some examples. For this reason, the opposite of a number is called the additive inverse. Two numbers whose sum is zero are called additive inverses. Multiply value by negative one to determine its additive inverse. This setup models the equation 3x plus 2 equals 14 with cups and pennies. We want to figure out how many pennies go in one cup. First we want to get the cups by themselves, so we'll remove two pennies from the left side. But to keep things balanced, we also need to remove two pennies from the right side. So we just remove two pennies from each side. We don't care how many pennies go in three cups, we want to know how many pennies go in just one cup. So we'll divide each side into three groups. After simplifying, we see that one cup equals four pennies. To check our answer, we can substitute four into the original equation. Twelve plus two equals fourteen. Here's the equation 6 equals negative 2 plus 4x solved by the balancing method. The goal is to end up with a single x cup on one side. One way to get rid of something on one side is to add its opposite to both sides. So in this problem, we add 2 to both sides. We actually don't care what 4x equals. We want to know what 1x equals. So we divide both sides into four groups and see that each cup must have two in it. Let's check to make sure x equals two works in the original equation. To make sure it works, we just replace x with 2. Once you get used to doing the same thing on both sides of an equation, you can use the balancing method without drawing scales or models. In this lesson, we reviewed several methods for solving equations then introduced using a scale as a model for solving equations.